Good day. My name is Tom Sion. I am 70 years young and I live in Philadelphia. I work full time as a logistics data manager for a federal agency. I also volunteer for the National Multiple Sclerosis Society at their various outdoor fundraising events. These include walkathons, mud runs, and bike tours. I live with intractable chronic cluster headache disease, migraine disease, and fibromyalgia. I have lived with headache pain for over 50 years. Diamond Headache Clinic is my provider. Their team diagnosed me properly and prescribed high flow oxygen therapy, which has helped me with the daily clusters. Nothing has ever helped reduce the pain of migraine. What also helps me cope with the pain is my being involved with many advocacy groups, including National Headache Foundation, U.S. Pain Foundation, Cluster Busters, Alliance for Headache Disorders Advocacy, Coalition for Headache and Migraine Patients, Miles for Migraine, and Headache on the Hill, as well as many support and discussion groups. Each of these organizations has excellent web resources. Two outstanding Facebook groups are Keeping Our Heads Up, Chronic Daily Headache Migraine Support Group, and Cluster Headache Community. A couple of years ago, after attending my first Cluster Busters conference, I had an awakening and realized that it is not just my pain I should focus on, but the pain that millions live with. This jump-started my advocacy efforts and made me decide to do my part to help reduce the stigma that comes with chronic pain and to help those that live with pain feel less isolated. A dear friend and fellow pain warrior once told me that I give off some light, so I'll continue to use that newfound gift to advocate for all of us. We are never alone. I was honored to be selected to share my story for the U.S. Pain Foundation's Invisible Project Migraine 3rd Edition and to be present at the launch party this past April. I believe that sharing my story inspires those living with pain as well as educating the general public. Recently, I have found that practicing deep breathing and mindfulness has reduced my pain level somewhat, and it gives me a sense of peace. Living with multiple types of daily pain affects my enjoyment of life, but I am most grateful to be blessed with the gifts of being alive, my faith, my family, my fellow pain warriors, and many good friends. I want to thank Nicole at the U.S. Pain Foundation for inviting me to participate in Storyathon, which will lead us into Pain Awareness Month of 